Y aplicada. Hello guys, good evening. I'm sorry, Fatima, you are sick or you're not feeling well tonight. Um, I hope you get better soon. And thank you for being here, even though you are not feeling well tonight. So thank you for being here. Samuel as well, thank you so much for being here. And Edwin, and thank you for being kind of time. How are you, Edwin? Hello. Um, kind of. I feel a little bit ill. Uh, I, I only have the eye theory, but this one. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Everybody is kind of sick. Um, and I'm really sorry about that, but thank you anyway, guys, for being here. I really appreciate it, okay? Thank you, Edwin and Fatima, for being here, even though you are not feeling well tonight, but that is so cool that you can be here. I'm sure that I'm recording the class, so everything is ready for us to start the class. Okay, so guys, I'm going to start sharing here my screen and we are going to go to your presentation. And this is the presentation for tonight, guys. It's Thursday. It is almost Friday, okay? So uh, we are just missing, I mean, it's, there's two hours left. So it is Friday, so very good. So Thursday, or three hours, actually, yes. Uh, okay, very good. So I'm happy because you're here, even though um, you may be tired because it's already Thursday. You have been working for four days now, but thank you for being here. Uh, also, here we have some special decoration, okay? I decorated the classroom um, with this Christmas stuff. Okay, 
So I hope you like it. Very good. If you see here, we have some Christmas stuff here in here. Uh, the Christmas tree, the gifts, everything. And here we have the question to start the class. Samuel, tell me, Samuel, do you like Christmas? No, I don't like it. <laughs> Why? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's another festivity. And I really don't see the, the excitement for this month. Season. Season. <laughs> so, oh. yeah, I don't like it. Oh, wow. That is an interesting point of view. Okay. Very good. Okay. And I know Edwin, maybe, and Fatima, you are sick. Uh, so you, maybe you cannot speak that much. But wow, that, that, that was interesting, someone. Okay. And now let me tell you. Let me see. Oh, you can speak, Edwin. Okay. Let's go, Edwin. Tell me, do you like Christmas? Uh, kind of, because, well, in Christmas, I only visited my family, and you know, this is so boring. And, you know, you only spend the time in the middle of the, I don't know how to say, living room, and that's all. That's all? Okay, yes. so you don't like Christmas either. Oh, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Okay, good. All right, let's listen to Fatima. Fatima, do you like Christmas? Yes, I like Christmas because I can eat very delicious food and also I can dance. Okay, that was interesting as well. Very good. And Fatima, you said that you like uh, to discover new things, right? Like learning new things and everything like that. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't it was you. Floor, I think. Ah, floor, floor. Okay, so you like dancing. Okay, very good. Do you dance cumbia? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, very good. Who, I mean, what's your favorite music? Well, I don't really have a favorite music or type of music mm -hmm. i really like every kind of music you love yes. music in general yes okay very good okay guys now let me give you my point of view and in my case i like christmas because um i can spend time with my family and that is cool also because i like gifts and also, this is the main reason. It is because most of the people is very happy in that season. Okay, they are uh, always smiling. The um, I don't know. The environment is different. So that's why I really like Christmas. Okay, because all I mean, most of the people is very happy, and they are in a very good hum uh, humor. So. That's why uh, I like it. But that's it. I don't, um, I'm not crazy about Christmas, but I do like it. Okay, very good. So thank you so much for sharing your thoughts on that. And now we are going to play a Kahoot. Have you ever played a Kahoot, guys? Yeah. Yes, I played it. Okay, very good. But we only have three participants or four. Alex is here. Alex is in the house. So we have four, we have four participants. So in this, we have some um, instructions. Can you please help me read the instructions, Alex? Ready to play. Try to find the correct option as soon as possible so you can get more points. You have uh, 30 seconds to answer. Wrong answer will give you no points. Very good, thank you. Okay guys, so that means that you have to be very fast because you will get more points if you are the first person giving the answer. Okay, the right answer. You have 30 seconds to answer. I think there is one question which is one minute because it's very difficult i think i don't remember 
And there is one question that it says, piensa rápido. And you have only five seconds to answer. So you have to be very fast, very fast on that one, okay? And also wrong answers will give you no points, okay? So if your answer is wrong, you will get zero points. Okay, very good, guys. Are you ready to start? Yes. Okay, you have to have your device. Very good. Okay, Fatima, thank you. And this is the intermediate review. Very good, it's 11 questions, 11 questions. So it is about what we have learned during the week. Okay, very good, we are going to start and we are going to see. And you are very few uh, tonight. Alex Diaz, I'm going to uh, write your, down your name here. Okay, very good. So we are going to play it in the classic mode and I'm going to share with you the link in the chat right now. Okay, the link is in the chat. Please join the game. Okay, we have Alex in the game. Ingeniero Samuel in the game. You can change your avatar if you want. You can change your avatar. Alex is changing the avatar. Okay, you can change your avatar. Choose the one that you like the most. Edwin. And Fatima, okay, we are all in the game now. Edwin, Alex, so Fatima, you are the only girl, okay? You are the only girl, so you have to do your best to win this game, okay? So let's see, everybody ready to start the game? Let's go. Okay, very good. We are going to start this Kahoot, which is an intermediate review of the week. And we have this, two, one. Question number one, guys. Easy, easy question. Okay, one you said persuadir, no, the meaning of purchase is comprar. It's like buy, it's the same meaning as buy, purchase, okay? Very good, so now you learned it. And let's see, here we have it. Fatima, first place. Ingeniero, second place. And Alex and Edwin, third and fourth place. Okay, very good. Let's go to the next one. What is the present participle of the adjective or of the verb? Interest, interest. What is the pre present participle? Okay, interest, no, interesting is the present participle, interesting, yes, interesting. Okay, very good. Interstellar, nobody interested, no, okay, so very good, let's see. Let's click next here and see the scoreboard. Fatima is in first place, Ingeniero, Edwin, and Alex, boys. Try to win this game. Fatima is the only girl and she is winning, okay? Brave yourself. What is the past participle of the verb take? What is the past participle? Taken, took is the past form. And taking obviously is not, that is the ing. <laughs> come on, come on boys, let's see. Fatima, oh, Fatima, yeah, first place, but Alex is in second place and very close to Fatima, okay? Also, Edwin is very close. Inge, what is going, what is going on with you? Ingeniero, come on, let, let's go. Let's get started. What is the past participle of the verb dream? 
Okay, you have it. Okay, dreaming? No. Dreaming? No, of course, no. Okay, let's see. Okay, Fatima, third place. Alex, first place. Edwin, second place. Very good. Ingeniero, very good. Edwin has the highest uh, answer streak of three. So very good. Question number five. The passive voice. Okay, very good. Guys, think it twice. Only two of you got this correctly. The only, you said the phone call is made by me. The phone call was made by me because if you see, I made the phone call. It's in past. It doesn't say I make the phone call. It's made, is made. So that's why the phone call was made by me. Okay, very good. Okay, Ingeniero, second place. Fatima, what happened to you, Fatima? Come on. Okay, let's see. Now the passive voice again. The DJ plays the music. Okay, very good. Let's see, the DJ plays the music. The DJ is played the music. Mm -hmm. The music is played by the DJ. The teacher plays the music. The music was played, was played by the DJ. Now, remember guys that, that when we have the present simple here, we are going to use the verb to be in the present, okay? If the question, if the active voice uh, sentence, sorry, is in the past, you use the verb to be in the past, was. But in this case, it's is because place is in present. Is it clear? We are going to review this uh, at the end of the game, but let's see if Fatima is in second place. Alex, okay, you have a win. I mean, you have a streak of four correct answers. So let's continue. Question seven out of 10, I mean, out of 11. Choose the indirect question. Think it, think it. Okay, very good. All of you were correct. May I know what your name is? Excellent. Very good. Everybody had it correct. Okay, let's see. Alex, first place. Fatima, second place. Edwin, third place. And you are very tight. Alex, you are on fire tonight. Question eight, double points. This is for double points, guys. Choose the indirect question. Okay, you are very fast. Okay, very good. Choose the indirect question. Where was him? And all of you got this correct. Okay, for double points. Okay, Ingeniero, you are in third place. Fatima, second place. And Alex, first place. Very good. Okay, let's see, next one, nine of 11. What is the participle of the verb stop? Stopped, very good, stopped. Now the green one, of course, is not, and the yellow one is not correct either. So stopped, we double the last consonant because we have Consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the last consonant, <clears throat> okay? So good, let's see. Okay, Alex, very good. Edwin, you are in third place. Edwin and El Ingeniero <clears throat> are fighting for that third place. Okay, let's see. 10 out of 11, double points. Double points. 
This one is difficult. Okay, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, very good. Oh, so we have another participant. Okay, who is the other participant? Adriana is now participating. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm afraid of the running dog. The running dog. Okay, very good. We got this good. Ingeniero, third place. So, Ingeniero, Alex, and Fatima, this is your last chance. Edwin and Ingeniero, you are very close. And Fatima, you are close to Alex. So, this is for the last question. Okay. Be ready for the last question, guys. Let's go. One, two, three. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. Everybody got this correctly. Okay, the teacher is bad? No, of course not. Ugly? No. Of course, boring? No. Awesome. Yes, we got it correctly. Okay, very good. Be kind with me, guys. Okay, let's see. The podium. Ingeniero Samuel, third place. Second place for... Fatima in first place is for Ale. Okay. Very good. Edwin. Okay. And Adriana, you got fourth and fifth place. Very good. Okay, guys, let's see. You play this very well. If you see, you got this 60% correct answers. Okay, so we can play this to improve, but you did an excellent job. Casigano said, Adriana. Adriana, you came late. I'm sorry. Okay. Every question won't answer correctly, but most of players. So this is something very nice, guys. If you see here, uh, there are no bad uh, answers almost. Okay, so very good. All right, very good. So guys, let's go back to the presentation and congratulations to the winner, tonight's champion, which is um, Alex. So you are the champion for tonight, so very good. And guys, now we are going to start with the game. I mean, with the class. Tonight's class, it says here, okay, very good. Um, Tonight's class is about modal verbs, okay? Modal verbs. All right, very good. So, Alex, you are the champion. Alex, please help me read this slide, please. Modal verbs. We use modal verbs to express abilities, possibilities, obligation, advice, and permission. They behave differently from other verbs. Very good. Thank you. So modal verbs or verbos modales are different from other verbs, okay? They behave differently from other verbs. And we use them to express abilities, possibilities, obligation, advice, and permission, okay? So very good. Here we have some basic rules to avoid mistakes with modals or modal verbs. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, Fatima, second place. Can you please help me read number one? Okay, number one. They don't change present, past, and future. Examples. She can play the piano. She can play the piano. Very good. Which one is the correct one, Fatima? The first one. Okay, the first one, okay? The first one is the correct one, okay? Why? Because we don't conjugate the modal verbs. We will not add an S or ING. She is canning. No, we cannot conjugate these verbs. So you don't change this for present or for past or for future or, or for future. No, you don't do that with 
modal verbs. She can play the piano. And also, if you see, she is a third person, but we don't add an S to this verb either. Okay, so she can play the piano. That is correct. Very good. Okay, now, Edwin, can you please help me read the second one? And use base verb after models. Examples, they can swim, they can to swim. Very good. Which one is the correct one? The first one. The first one, okay? The first one, because you cannot use, you cannot say they can to swim. So you have to use the base verb, okay? Not the infinitive. The infinitive is when you add to, to the verb. To swim, to go, that is the infinitive. You will use the base form, which is go, play, swim. You will not use to, okay? To is incorrect, so you don't use it. They can swim. Very good. Adriana, can you please help me with number three? Yes. Use not after a model. Don't use don't want during a Okay, can you read the examples? You should not bring coke. You don't should bring coke. Okay, which one is the correct one? The first sentence. Perfect. You should not drink Coke or you shouldn't drink Coke. Very good. This one is incorrect. Okay, guys, so those are the three rules for these modal verbs. Okay, first of all, you don't conjugate the verbs. You will not add ing, s, or ed or will, you will not use that with these model verbs, okay? Number one. Number two, use the base verb after the modal verb, okay? They can swim, they can play, I can play the piano, okay? You will not say I can to play, never, okay? Then number three, we use not for a negative. We will not say you don't should, no. You should not drink Coke, okay? So are those three rules clear for you guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. Yep, those are very basic rules. So uh, now we are going to learn more about modal verbs. We are going to watch a video some of you may be visual learners, so that's why we have a video for this. Okay, give me one moment here. Okay, give me one moment, so I'm going to share the audio. Okay. Can you listen now? Yes, yeah, we can. Okay, thank you. Type modal verbs examples ability permission advice obligation Possibility can, could David can speak three languages. He could speak fluent French when he was five. Can could or may. Can I sit in that chair, please? Could I open the window? May I borrow your dictionary? Should.
you should visit your dentist at least twice a year. You should try to lose weight. Must or have to. I must memorize all of these rules about tenses. You have to take off your shoes before you get into the mosque. Might, may, could, or can. It looks nice, but it might be very expensive. Richard may be coming to see us tomorrow. Modal verbs asking permission. verbs asking permission. Informal. Can. Can I borrow your pen for a minute? Can I speak to John Wilson? Polite, could, could I please have a glass of beer? Could I open the window? Formal, may. May I ask a question, please? May we go home now? Polite. Would. Would you mind if I asked you something? your dictionary? Teacher, I can speak. I can listen. Your microphone. Hey, very good. Yeah, I was muted. I, I muted it because of the video. Okay, so sorry for that. Uh, okay, so what are your what are the um, modal verbs that you watched on the video? Should. Should. May. Mm -hmm. Can. May, my, might. Good. Good. Must. Must. Okay, guys. And what are the modal verbs that you use more often? Can. Can, could, and should. Should. Okay, very good. And what is the difference between can and may? 
And is informal email is formal. Very good, yes. And also may is polite, okay? You can say, may I know your name instead of can I know your name? No, may I know your name? Okay, very good. May I know your name? Very good. Do you use should? Not really. No? Okay, that, that is quite, quite um, common. What about must? Must. You must memorize. What is the meaning of must? Deberías. Debes. Debes. It's an, an obligation. For example, like I said, you must wash the dishes. Okay? You must do your homework. You must do your homework. Okay? Very good. And what is have to? Have to is the same. Okay? And with have to, we can use don't, want, or that. Okay, you can say you don't have to. This is the only exception. You will not, you, you will not use not. You will use don't. You don't have to. Okay, you don't have to. Very good. So we are going to move on. Here we have some of them. For permission and for request, we use could. And also we use can. What is the difference between can and could? Could is more is formal. Is formal and can is informal. Very good. And may is polite when we use this for permission. Okay, very good. Or for our request. Example of our request. May I know your name? That is a request. I'm using may, but may is not informal or formal. It is polite. Okay. Good. Possibility. Can you give me an example using may or might as a possibility? May I win the lottery? Okay, one more time. May I, I win the lottery? Okay, may I win the lottery? Very good, excellent. May I win the lottery? That is a possibility, okay, very good. It may rain, okay, it may rain, okay. Very good, it may rain, it's a possibility. Maybe yes or maybe not, very good, so may. Or it might be difficult, it might be difficult, okay? That is a possibility. So that's how we use this. Very good. And also we have should for suggestions and ought to. We, in uh, American speaking English, we don't use ought to that often. It is more often used in um, Europe, okay? Ought to. Here we use should. Can you give me an example with should? You should learn English. You should learn English, okay? Very good. You should practice English. You should learn English. Very good. Yeah, that is an advice or a suggestion. Very good. For obligation must and have, we can say you must drink water. You must drink, you must drink water, okay? And polite, will, shall, and would. Would you mind to, um, would you mind to, oh, would you mind if I ask you a question? Okay, that is very polite. Would you mind if I ask you a question? Te importaría si te hago una pregunta? That is very polite. So we use, would most of the time with uh, polite sentences. Okay, very good. And here we have a question. The question is, what can I do to be healthier? What can I do to be healthier? Can you give me some suggestions, obligations, possibilities, or requests? 
or you can tell me something in a polite way. Can you use those models to give me suggestions? Usually vegetables. Good, good one. Let me write it here. You should eat vegetables. Okay, what else? You should pay your debts. Really? To be healthier like this? You should pay your debts? Is that what you said? Yes? Okay, you should pay your debts. That's what I heard. What else? Using must. You should do more exercise. Uh huh. Very good. You should. In this case, we are going to use must. You must do exercise. You must do exercise. I okay. must finish my project. I must finish. That is a, an obligation. Yes, you have to finish your project okay very good we exactly we you okay now one with could please one with could You could try a new diet. You could try a new diet, okay? You could try a new diet. Very good. So all of them guys help us to express these things. Permissions, requests, possibilities, suggestions, to be polite and so on. Do you have any question guys or anything that you need me to clarify? Yes, what's your question, Edwin? Sorry, I believe that you said that uh, it's clear. <laughs> oh, so it, it is clear then. Okay, good. So guys, thank you. Don't forget the three rules, okay, that we learned at the beginning of the class so you don't make, me, you don't make mistakes when you use this model verbs, okay? So now we are going to have a little practice, guys, in this. We have uh, some of the models that we have learned in this lesson, and we are going to play always as team one is for girls, team two for boys. So we are going to start with team one, girls. Choose a number, please. Number one. Okay, number one is for girls and it says, this is beautiful. Okay, in my opinion, you, and here we have the options. So think about it girls and give me the answer. You should. Okay, very good. Okay, very good, let's see. This is a suggestion, okay? It's not an obligation, so that is why we use you should. Okay, very good. This is beautiful, in my opinion, you should buy it. Okay, good. Choose one. No. Three? Number three, okay, let's go. Number three. Here you have it. Mm -hmm. Too much caffeine is bad for you. You? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. You shouldn't, okay? 
Very good. Now, can you please, Samuel, can you please read the whole sentence? Too much caffeine is bad for you. You shouldn't drink too much coffee. Okay, good job. Perfect. So you got 15 points. Girls, choose another number. Six. Okay, number six. Very good. Let's see. Number six. Exercise is good for you. Everybody. What do you think? Uh, should exercise? Should exercise. Okay, let's see. Should exercise. Good job because it's an advice. Now, Adriana, can you please read the whole sentence? Exercise is good for you. Everybody should exercise. Excellent. Everybody should exercise. Okay, very good. So 15 points for you and you have 30 points. Boys, choose another number. Five. Okay, number five. Here you got it. That movie is really exciting. I think you will like it. Mm -hmm. You should see it. Very good. So can you read the whole sentence? That movie is really exciting. I think you'll like, like it. Uh, you should see it. Okay, very good. You should see it. Okay, very good. Excellent. They are using see here, but more often you will see watch, watch a movie. What is the difference between see and watch? The screen, I think. The screen? When, okay. I, when, I, when I am front of a screen, I watching something. Okay, very good. So now, yeah, that is kind of correct. But let me give you the explanation I learned from a book. And it is that uh, when you say watch, that means that you are focused on that with your senses. You are paying full attention to that. Whenever you watch TV, you are watching TV with full attention, okay? And see is just see things, but with no special attention. So that is, that is the difference. Watch, that means that you are focused on the movie, focused on your cell phone, okay? And see is you're seeing things, but maybe you are not paying attention or full attention to the things that are happening um, around you. So that is the difference. Okay, so good job. 30 and 30 points. We are tight. Okay, so girls, choose another one. Seven. Seven. That's a seven. Okay. I'm sick. According to my doctor, I... Shouldn't. I shouldn't go to work today. Let's see. Can you please help me read the full sentence? And see, according to my doctor, I shouldn't go to work today. Okay, that sounds very good. Very fluent and very good. Okay, good job. Okay. Okay, now boys, choose one number. We have three options. Number four. Number four in the middle. Okay, let's see. Number four. Stella. Okay. What do you think? Think it. Mm. Ah, difficult. I think uh, it's hasn't. Hasn't to. Hasn't to work. 
hasn't to work, okay? Is that your final answer? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Come on. Okay, very good. Let's check. It is doesn't have to work. Sabía que no era. <laughs> okay. Stella doesn't have to work. Doesn't have to work. Okay. Very good. So, boys, I'm sorry, but you didn't get the point. So, 45 to 30. Girls, we have number two and number eight. Which number do you want, girls? Two. Two, okay. Here we have it for 15 points, okay? According to Frank's doctor, he's very heavy. Uh-huh. Must, must go. Must go. Let's check. Must go, very good, because we don't use going or any other verb, we use go the base so okay very good and boys boys this is for honor this is for honor number eight is for you so for 15 points boys peter is a businessman he have to travel in has to travel has be traveled has to travel this is the same for the previous one boys Show me that you have learned. I don't know. I think it's has yeah. to travel. Alex, you are the champion. Help them. <laughs> I, I feel so tired. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm Mm. what do you think uh, have to traveling i think have to oh, travel I, I don't know i don't know okay very good okay boys the most important thing in this game is to learn so we are going to check okay has to travel has to travel. You cannot say has to travel in. Has to traveling, no. Has to traveled, no. Has to travel. Has to travel. Okay? Very good. So you didn't get this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Alex, you are the champion, but girls, you are the team, the best team in the class girls very good excellent so good job and here we have it okay very good guys so that was i know that was an easy topic it was an easy topic guys and maybe we don't have time for this one <laughs> Okay, maybe, okay, maybe. What is maybe? It's a possibility, right? So you are using may for possibility. May be, puede ser, okay? So may be, you are using what you learned tonight. So that is cool. Okay, very good. For this game, we don't have time, but I want to explain you this. Um, for sports, guys, we have three main collocations for sports. We have do, we have play, and we have go, okay? Do, play, and go. Guys, we use do for sports that are made individually. We use play for sports that are played with a ball, okay? With a ball or in teams. And we use go for uh, sports that are played or that, that ends in ing. Example, do, I do karate, okay? I do karate, okay? I do yoga. Those are sports that are made alone, okay? Individually, not in teams. Play for sports with balls or in teams. I play soccer, I play basketball, I play tennis. 
and go for verbs ending in, I mean, for uh, sports ending in ing. Example, I go surfing, I go surfing, I go skateboarding, and I go bowling. Okay, very good. So is it clear, guys? Yes. 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 Okay. okay, perfect. Perfect. So you don't miss next time you talk about this. And guys, well, um, let me congratulate you guys because you have a good English level. You are now intermediate. Just keep improving, okay? Keep improving so you can learn a lot more things, okay? So you can learn vocabulary, new tenses maybe, new expressions, and improve your English skills, speaking, uh, reading, and all of that, okay? So guys, I don't know if you have questions for me tonight. No, for today. Not for today, okay? Um, any questions, just let me know. However, your um, coach or teacher is going to be back on Monday with you guys. So it was my pleasure to meet you. I hope you continue learning English a lot. And well, I hope you the best to everybody. That's what Thank I you. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. And just before I let you go, I want to make sure I have everybody here. Alex, Diaz. Thank you. Edwin yeah. Garcia. Fatima, I'm here. Hernandez, thank you. Sam. And. Adriana Perez and Lizzie Angel. Okay, so thank you everybody for being here. You are such a nice people. I wish you the best and um, have a good rest of your day or have a good night. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, thank teacher. teacher. Good night, everybody.